Hi all. I just wanted to do a little quick video about that uh, training LinkedIn page that I uh, created for many uh, page with many page builder in the series. And just lately, last couple of days, I did it with bricks and I did it with breakdance. And of course, some of you are wondering if you're like me, which one is the best performance? And if you check my videos, uh, you will see it. But just out of curiosity, I redid it today with Elementor, with all the new settings, all the new announcements, and of course the container. And I wanted to compare it with the result that we already had. So if you looked at my landing page with Bricks Builder, you saw those scores here, 93, 98 for Bricks and 95, 98 for uh, Breakdance. So of course, it depends on many factor depending on the time of the day and so on. So I retested at the same time that I tested uh, Elementor just to be sure that we have the exact same thing. This is an account that I'm not logged in, by the way, in GT Matrix. So now Bricks gives me 94, 98. And of course, if you test many times, one after the other, it will always vary a little bit by one or 2%, depending on the time. So. Uh, previous test, I think it was 95, 99. So it will always vary a little bit, but just as an information here. So 94, 98, right after that, I tested with breakdance, 96, 97. So a little bit more on performance, a little less on structure. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, both of them are on the same server, on the same site, multi-site installation. And the highest or the biggest problem is the initial server response time. Now, Elementor disclaimer is on a different, it's still the same server, still the same site. It's on the subsite, uh, but it's a different WordPress installation. But in both cases, Bricks and Breakdance are on the same one and Elementor on a different one. In both cases, it's a multi-site installation. So the difference should not be that big. Though, I don't know why I don't have that uh, reduced initial server response time for Elementor. But anyway, so let's take a look at Elementor's number, 96 and 95. And the previous was giving me 96 and 96. So are Bricks and Breakdance better, more performant? They are, of course. Is the difference that big? Like I said in another video, I assume not. And by the way, just for your information as well, the output of the page, Bricks gives me 257 kilobytes and 15 requests. And you will see that the image is smaller. So I guess that it applies some, uh, some optimization. I know that in this case, uh, by default, Bricks will enable the uh, lazy loading. So I don't know if it, that's the reason why it's smaller, but I don't think so. And honestly, uh, I deactivated lazy loading on breakdance for the first top image because, no, that's true, sorry. That's a background image, so it makes no difference. I did lazy load the other image down below in breakdance. In bricks, it's all by default, so anyway. So anyway, smaller here than the other two. That's one of the reason why it's so low. So 257.15 for breakdance, we have 398 and 22. So seven more requests, but almost double the size. Well, let's say 35, 40% more. And Elementor as the biggest one, 501 and 32. So 10 more requests than breakdance and uh, what? A little bit more than 100 kilobytes more. So the debate that we have for months, if not years, yes, Elementor is bigger. Yes, it's slower, but by a really slight margin with the new improvements that they have made. So uh, again, make up your mind whether it's worth it for you to move away from Elementor if you are using Elementor, move away from it to go with Breakdance or Bricks, two great builders, by the way. Or if you say, well, let's stick with Elementor. The other two are fairly new, um, maybe not compatible with all the plugins and so on. 
So if you want to stick with Elementor, that is still a good choice. So have a good day and I hope this was helpful to you. Bye bye.